just a lot of emotional tweets coming in as regards Gloria of her ego. Uh, but I keep them coming. We'll, we'll make some time at the end of the show. Before the end of the show, uh, to read those tweets, we need to go to Dakar, Senegal. Guys, we've said it's more than a game for Coach Samson, yeah, yeah, and the national under-23 team. With what you've seen, do you think today there can be a turnaround they will beat Senegal and qualify for the 2016 Rio Olympics where Odoan Yadikuru, Yaron Akwadri, Olufuki Oshanaike, they're already chilling, waiting with the football team join us. Let's go to Dakar, Senegal. Um, unfortunately, Azubike Okechuku, the captain of the Dream Team 6, we will not be playing today, but he wants to talk to us, tell us some things we don't know about the team. If Azubike is with us, good morning, Azubike, and welcome to Sports This Morning. Yeah, good morning. Well, fantastic. Good to have you join us. As we can tell us, you are there with your teammates. There's been loads of talks. What is the talk for the game against Senegal today? Yeah, I can tell you that um, in camp here, the spirit is high. We know the importance of today's game. If we get a win, we qualify automatically for the Olympics. We can start talking about the finals. Right now, I can tell you everybody's in good shape preparing for the game this evening. You'll definitely not be playing. How much will the team miss you? Um, yes, I won't be playing today. It's, um, it's a very big one for the team. But I think um, we came here with 21 players and everybody's capable of doing anything, playing. So whoever gets into the field today to play, even in my position, will do better than I believe. Okay, um, Azubike, what do you think has been responsible for the um, lapse in concentration that we've witnessed in, in this team so far in, in the tournament against um, Egypt? We saw you guys concede on two goals in, in the second half. The same thing in, in, in all the matches we've yeah, seen so far in this tournament, yeah? Mm. I don't know what to say, actually. We've played some, I think, I think we played some bad games and all that, but I think right now we, we fixed our problems at the back and even the midfield and everything. So I think we're okay now. Mm. Azubike, tell, tell yeah. me, yeah. tell me how ready are you guys to play this game for Coach Samson? Yes, yeah, yeah. Because I know most times players just turn up for their coaches, you know, before themselves. Coach Samson, yes, yeah, in 1992 scored at this same stadium where you guys will play today. How ready are you guys uh, to give your your coach a victory today? Yeah, he, please talk about that, about how he scored in 1992 in Senegal. And I think that's a big boost for the team. And that it's a very good coach, a very big manager, also a father to us, the players. So I think we will be going out today to play one for him and also for our country and um, for every other Nigerian, patriotic Nigerian out there. So we'll try and make him proud today, the team that's going to play. And I believe that. Okay, we just can't wait for that one. Now, my question is, you know, the coach actually, you know, uh, gave you guys some, you know, some cash, you know, after, after he qualified for the semi-finals, which he promised. How much will that motivate most of the players that will be playing today to actually win against Senegal? Yeah, actually, he gave us something. And um, so it's, um, it's, it's very small, but I can tell you it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. He, he helped us very much and he made us understand uh, why we have to play for him. I think that will go a long way in helping us play and this game because everybody wants to play for him because he's been with us, he's been beside us, he's been a father. So I think that will help us. Mm. As a, as a, we want to let you go now, but before you go, Nigerians are watching. Those at home and abroad, give them... That you're, you're the captain of the team. Give them th those words of assurance that when your team fight out against Senegal today, 4 p.m., that there will be no cause for alarm. Yeah, I want to say to all Nigerians in the diaspora, every patriotic Nigerian, to you know, to keep calm and then watch us play today. And we've worked very hard. And we've been working very hard in training. Everybody's in good shape, though we have some injuries in the team, but that's not going to change anything. Anybody that's coming out today to play, that's going to put on the national colors, it's a very big pride also, the coach told us. So I think every Nigeria should sit tight, be calm, and then expect a good game and also a win. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much, Azubiki Okechuku, captain of the National Under-23 team, for speaking to us on the show. 
Thank you very much. God bless you. All okay. right. Everyone Cecilia, keep calm. So that's the word. The that's the word. So keep calm. Relax. Victory. Relax. Don't now we have prepared <laughs> and um, uh, we can do it against Senegal. It's a difficult oh, one. So oh, let's admit. This team, all they need from us is our, need from us is our support. And just, you know, think about the, the spirit of optimism that they can do it. Yeah, surely. Yeah, you go into a game like this, you have to believe you can't do it. There's mm. no point turning up if you already you know, think you're going to lose it. So uh, I like the confidence in the side. Uh, but then when, when the whistle goes off, mm. it's going to be war. Showtime. It's going to be war. Showtime. Mm. And the Senegalese with the fans behind them mm. have to be the favorites. Yeah, definitely have to be the favorites. With the of fans course. behind them. No, and what we've seen of them so far Senegal is Senegal with their fans. Nigeria with the largest population in Africa. All of us will come there. <laughs> Austin, we're not going to play for them. Support this team. Yeah, their fans are coming out for them. Forget it. Uh, we're going to stand by this team. That's all Azubi uh, just asked us to do. We'll stand by this team. Uh, we're just going to, uh, to shock them. They don't know. <laughs> Take it in Nigerian spirit to them. Okay, so um, that's, that's it uh, for um, the CAF on the 23 uh, Cup of Nations. Team Nigeria will be taking on Senegal today, time 4 p.m. Nigerian time. That's your time. You've listened to the captain. We didn't say it. He says they've worked so hard for this. Um, They're motivated by the coach who actually has good memories from 1992 at that same stadium. So he believes that they can win that one. Let's just read some messages on... Um, on Twitter, and um, Lazi says, um, I'm watching sports this morning right now, and I just heard your conversation with Gloria touching. Thank you. Uh, it's good news for us with Gloria Freud, but we're getting uh, loads, loads of negative comments as regards, no, no, no. The, the story is that Gloria of Wigu is fine yes. now. Let's, let's just, you know, be, let's be thankful for that. Uh, she represented this country and um, some things went wrong along the line, but now she's doing just fine and that's the story. Uh, where are we, where are we going to from? To the papers now. now. The papers, that's right. And I'm sure all yeah. the papers will be saying will be the CAF on the 23 um, Cup of Nations. Will Nigeria pick a ticket? That's, that's, that's... And the target is very clear. Getting to the <laughs> final... And you get an automatic qualification and sport for Rio 2016. Uh, mm. You lose in the semis and you get to play in the third place match and you still have an opportunity. So Hull is not going to be lost mm. if on the, the, the under-23 side lose today. But you do a lot of good to our blood pressure. Absolutely. <laughs> now, now, Tyler, our big things will be in yeah, time. Yeah, let me take you, you through this. Let me, take, let's you, just go to let me take you through this now. You said all hope is not lost. Yeah. That's the way. Yeah. We are not, if, that's yeah. not the way. We don't mm. even want to go there. Because look at the other match, uh, Algeria and South, South Africa. Africa. The Algerians were celebrating. Immediately, they got into the semifinals, knowing that they topped the group. Yeah. Why? Because they knew they were facing South Africa. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they knew that they were definitely going to beat South Africa. Mm. So that's another thing. But it's now, football. It shouldn't take that mentality to play South Africa. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, oh, hold on. Hold on. Huh. But if, if, if you're looking at that, you're saying, okay, uh, Nigeria get to lose to Senegal, which will not happen. I mean, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> which, can lose, happen. which can happen. Yeah. Okay, we get to lose which to Senegal. Which will not. And of course, uh, we get oh, to play guys, South on. Africa in third place. Come on. I, I, I just want to think that. Oh, you, you're scared of playing <laughs> South Africa in the third no, place? No, not really. Now. I just, I, I want to want a situation whereby we have to go through that route. Okay. Let's get to the finals. Whatever happened there, we understand that, okay, that ticket is in the bag. Because so you have to keep, I don't want to